PSI have been suspended in the Palgar mob lynching incident case and action of course taken against the accused but also against the police we are being told. Let's go across to Arunil who is joining us with more details. Well, Arunil, the police had reached the spot despite that the villagers continued to attack. Three people died in this particular lynching and now action also taken against the police. But sorry, the main question in this entire thing is: Were the only were only cops who were responsible? Because this happened on April 16th. Uh, there was no communication from the administration, from the government. Only after the uh, after Times now highlighted uh, this entire incident and the gruesome visuals that came up, there came tweets from the CM of Maharashtra and the Home Minister as well. And that was only after the opposition took up this entire issue. Yes, now action has been initiated. One assistant uh, police inspector and one uh, police inspector have been suspended in this uh, entire gruesome episode wherein three people were lynched to death. If these two or three people had gone inside the police station, it was in the visual it is clearly visible and the they had the protection of the police but despite uh, the cops were made to look helpless and the a mob of more than 100 people started mercilessly killing uh, these three people and they also attacked the police officials. So now whether more action will be initiated by the Maharashtra government and more authority and responsibility will be taken that requires to be seen back to you. All right, Arunil, in fact, uh, you stay on with us. We have uh, more breaking news coming in at this point in time. And uh, in fact, uh, BJP's allegation against the Agadi government as far as handling of the situation uh, in uh, the state of Maharashtra is concerned. Allegations are that of data fudgery of uh, suppression of uh, the real figures related to the corona positive cases. Mumbai added 456 corona positive patients on Sunday, 19th April, according to Maharashtra government statement, while the BMC states Mumbai added 289 corona positive patients on Sunday, 19th of April. We also have a reaction of uh, Kirit Somaya on this. Let's listen to what uh, he has said. Okay, okay. Before we before we play that out, let's let's uh, take a reaction from Arunil on this. Arunil, uh, the BJP continues uh, with their allegation against the Agadi. They still believe that there's some uh, you know uh, suppression of data because different figures are coming in from the Maharashtra government and from the municipal corporation. Well, this is extremely serious sorry, and very confusing as well because if you look at the difference between the figures put out by the BMC and the State Health Department, there is a difference of uh, 200 uh, positive cases in the city of Mumbai alone. The BMC puts out one number and after that, immediately in an hour when the State Health Department puts it, it is way more than what the BMC is putting it. So it is leading to a lot of confusing, confusion, a lot of miscommunication as mis and misreporting also because of these differences. And when uh, the Health Department department was asked about it. It is putting all the onus and the blame on the BMC and the same thing has been happening from the BMC side. However, it is important that all the uh, organizations uh, who are working to fight this coronavirus they work unanimously and in unison to give out appropriate numbers to avoid any uh, miscommunication and confusion in this regard. And the B uh, BJP has taken this uh, issue now saying that this could be leading to a lot of issues in the state of Maharashtra and in Mumbai. Back to you. All right, Arunil, thank you very much for joining us with those details. With that, we're splitting into a short break, but news and updates will continue on the other side as well.